So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go from zero to 10K a month with your social media marketing agency. And look, there's going to be three things, three things that you need to implement to go from zero to 10K a month with your social media marketing agency. And these are the lessons that I personally used myself and I personally learned at doing so. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, not implementing these three lessons. Um, it's going to make it very hard for you to go from zero to 10K with your social media marketing agency. And also for those of you who could say I improvise my videos, put some respect to my name, okay? There's a lot of thought that goes into this. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, before I get into the three actionable lessons that I've distilled from all my, my learning and, and from all the trials and tribulations and just, just insane hours that I put into my uh, social media marketing agency over the past few years. Before I do that, I want to touch on the mindset side of things. And look, when you're starting out your social media marketing agency and when you have literally zero clients to your name and you're making zero money, that 10K mark is just a very good level to be at, right? A lot of people think that when they get to that 10K mark, you know, their life will be absolutely sold. And quite frankly, when you get to that 10K mark, a lot of things change, right? So I'm not gonna sit here and say that 10K is not a, a very good number to aim for. Uh, honestly, your life drastically changes, for, uh, you know, when you get to that 10K mark. Um, I truly believe that, you know, the difference between 10, 20, 30, you know, even 50K, you know, the, the you get diminishing returns in terms of happiness, in terms of, you know, stress and anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but honestly, that 10K mark is just a very solid mark to be at. And the reason why I'm so passionate about SMA is because with social media marketing agency, you can literally have one single client that pays you almost that amount or very close to that amount even, right? And so that is why I love SMA. In fact, I actually want to show you guys, uh, where's my phone? Oh, okay. And look, quite frankly, I think this is quite cringe, but look, I generally think it's going to break a lot of limiting beliefs uh, when it comes to social media marketing agency. And you guys can see that. Uh, I mean, I don't think this is going to... If I fail, but I'll just put it on the screen. For example, just yesterday, right? I'm not cherry picking some, you know, some client that I signed uh, two years ago, right? Uh, just yesterday, the 19th of April, I received uh, a retainer fee for one of my clients, uh, 4,308 pounds, which is around $5,500, um, which is actually the, the retainer fee that we have with them. So $5,500 uh, for one single client for one single month. So that just comes to show you guys that it's very possible to get to that $10,000 mark, right? And look, I'm not telling you, I'm not saying like you're gonna sign, the, you know, this, this clients in your first, month or, you, or your second month or even your third month, right? Sending a client that pays you $5,500 a month is not normal, right? And so I don't want to sell that idea that you're going to be signing $5,000 uh, clients, right? In your first few months, right? But it's very realistic for you to sign $3,000 clients or $2,500 clients. And you would only need three, four of those clients to get to that 10K mark. But I digress. Let's get into the actionable strategies that will take you from zero to 10K a month with your agency. Now, the first thing is an acquisition process that reliably churns out client meetings, right? At this point, I'm booking around 40 to 50 meetings a month, right? And there's a little video here uh, where I covered all that. Uh, but basically, if you don't have a way to predictably turn out meetings with prospects, your agency is not going to grow. And it's just, very, it's just honestly a very simple concept. A lot of people completely neglect the fact that, look, if you're not jumping on calls with clients, you're not gonna land clients. And honestly, when you start out, I strongly recommend that you go for volume more than you know getting so fixated on making sure that that lead is so qualified, right? Because those first few meetings are just a way for you to build confidence, to build momentum that you're gonna carry for your next meetings, right? But it's very important that you have that predictable system to churn out client meetings on a consistent basis. I also recommend that you have uh, some sort of automation set in place, which is what I have for my agency in many platforms. But I could make a whole other video on that, how I basically drive people down a funnel until a point where obviously there needs to be a human element to get them to jump over that final hurdle. But, but when you start, what I recommend you guys do is pick three outreach methods that are best suited for your personality and your niche. And I actually covered this in my free masterclass that I've been getting insane feedback on. There's nothing for sale, so I recommend you guys watch that after this video. But basically what I do in that masterclass is I show you a bunch of outreach methods that you can pick. And then I tell you to pick the top three or four, right? And then after two to three months, after iterating, watching for feedback, constantly tweaking things and trimming the fat, then you laser focus into one to two hours methods that are best working for you. And then you really hone in on those outreach methods, putting all your energy, focus, and attention on those outreach methods until you actually get it to 10K a month. Because the main problem that I see with a lot of agency owners, guys, is that they do a lot of outreach, right? But they're not tweaking, they're not looking at the feedback, they're not iterating according to the feedback. And that is what really kills your SMA outreach. The fact that you're not iterating and you're not really growing, right? Because you think you're moving forward, but I can I can assure you that the first emails that you send out are not the emails that are gonna convert clients to a meeting, right? Those emails need to be tweaked according to the feedback, according to the results that you get. And until you finally have that winning formula, and even when you have that winning formula, there still needs to be more tweaking done, adapting it to coronavirus, et cetera, et cetera. So that is one of the things that I want you guys to keep in mind. If you're at a point where you're getting a lot of clients what I'm currently doing now and I'm testing it right so I'm not going to tell you guys that this is the best way to go I'm, I'm testing this so I can relay back to my audience and my students 
What I'm testing now is having just complete omnipresence, but that is because I'm at a point in my agency where I can bring people on, right, to have complete omnipresence, pretty, pretty much just happening to every single platform to just have insane omnipresence as an agency, right? I can only do that because I can invest into my agency, into different softwares, into different people that can actually take care of hours methods that I personally just don't have the time to do. Honestly, just achieving godlike omnipresence with your agency, right? Tapping into every single platform, being everywhere for your prospects. And that is what I'm currently doing. I don't recommend you guys do that until you hit that 10K mark, because otherwise you're gonna spread yourself too thin and you simply don't have the resources, or I don't recommend that you invest into those avenues just yet. So just focus on the one to two hours methods that have worked the best out of the iterating, and then just focus on those, right? Because I can show you guys, I got to 10K a month with simply just two hours methods, email and LinkedIn, and you know, technically the video audit, but that, that's still email and LinkedIn, right? It's still the platforms that I tap into. So that is the first thing that I recommend. The second thing is hiring a killer A team. Now, for those of you who are in my mentorship program, you guys know that this has been a monastic obsession since the time I started my my agency because I knew that this was going to be one of the biggest leverage, if not the most important thing of building an agency, which is actually having incredible people in your team that can take care of you and your results for clients. Because if you can't get your clients results, it's impossible to scale your agency because every client that you sign, they're going to end up leaving, right? Not only that, but it harms your reputation. And it's so much more blissful to not only to build your agency client on top of client, right? But also have good reputation, have referrals take care of you like this one, for example. And it's just a much more blissful way to grow an agency because also you feel much more fulfilled. You feel much happier because you don't have clients bothering you because they're not getting results, right? So that has been one of the biggest obsessions uh, for me since I started my agency. And you guys know, uh, if you're in my mentorship, that I have this four-step hiring process not only generates one killer contractor, right? An A player for your team, but also at the end of the process, you have three to five backups. And that is another thing that I recommend you guys do, have backup options. Don't just rely on one single contractor to get the job done because that contractor, if, if they don't turn out to be great or if for some reason they leave you, then you don't wanna be in the really stressful situation where you don't have any contractors to actually come in as a backup option. And the final thing that I want to mention on that topic is that you really want to make sure that you're hiring A players, right? Because I've had B players in the past and you might think that a B player is kind of like a kind of like grades in school, right? A B player is an 80% and a, an A player might be a 95%, but it's really not like that. The difference between an A player and a B player is 100x. An A player is predictable, they're proactive, and you don't have to chase them for results. A B player, you have to chase them, right? Yes, they get the job done, but it's not hands-off, it's not an autopilot, and so it doesn't allow you to remove yourself as much from the equation as possible and really enjoy the money that you're making, really enjoy your life as an agency owner. So that's really the second thing that I want you guys to consider. And the third thing is amazing client experience. Number one, you wanna have predictable communication. And in my agency, I have what I call pillars of communication, right? Uh, and so it's very predictable. Communication is very predictable. The client knows what to expect. The contractors know what communication touch points they're accountable for. And there's almost no question that human element also runs on autopilot. And you're building that predictability into your agency. So that is really the first thing that you need to consider. And the second thing is automated reporting. I put a lot of time and focus into building incredible reporting sheets that are completely automated for my clients. And it's something that took me a lot of time to do. And I recommend you guys uh, take that time and actually put a lot of thought into your reporting sheets, into your reporting ecosystem, because for most clients, the ads manager for most people is just like a black hole that's going to drain your energy and it's going to be very hard to find the KPIs and it's very hard for them. You know, from my experience, it's very hard for a client to actually know what is happening in terms of performance and in terms of how well we're doing if you don't have a much better ecosystem that you've built, right? And so am I saying that I built a better ads reporting ecosystem than uh, Facebook and than Zuckerberg? Yes, I am. So guys, those are the three areas that you need to dominate to scale your agency from zero, or even if you're at 2K a month, to $10,000 per month with your social media marketing agency. Now, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, it really helps out a ton with the algorithm, and I would really appreciate it. Also, leave down below in the comments any questions, any queries you may have on this video. If you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients, just the, incredible, the insane feedback that I've been getting on this masterclass is just insane. There's nothing for sale. And if you guys haven't watched it yet, you're, I, I don't know what you're doing. You're, you're definitely sleeping on it. So go ahead and check that out. Also, if you haven't checked out my free private mentorship community on Facebook, the client closers, it's a family, it's a tight knit community. It's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to level up in life and scale their agency. So if you want to join that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey. And I will speak to you in the next one. Peace.